This is a video on chi-squared goodness of fit. The question states, in 1970, the Forest Service surveyed the Lake Tahoe Basin and determined that 60% of the land was in pristine condition, 20% was in good condition, 15% in average condition, and 5% was in poor condition. The Forest Service has just surveyed 200 randomly selected acres of land to see if the land conditions have changed. And here is the data that they collected. So this first 100 corresponds to the number of acres that were in pristine condition, 45 corresponds to the number in good condition, 35 corresponds to the average condition acreage, and 20 corresponds to the poor condition acreage. Since we want to find out if the land conditions have changed, and we have many different kinds of conditions, then we're going to be using a chi-squared goodness of fit test to find out if the new distribution of conditions fits the old distribution of conditions. So let's state our null and alternative hypotheses. The null hypothesis is the land distribution is the same as it was in 1970. And the alternative hypothesis is the land distribution is not the same as it was in 1970. So now let's find the expected counts. Notice that the sample size was 200. And if we survey 200 acres and we expected that 60% were in pristine condition, then we can find out the expected count for the pristine condition acreage by taking 60% of 200 or 0.6 times 200, and that's equal to 120. So under expected count, I put in 120. Similarly, for the good condition acreage, we take 20% times the 200, and that's equal to 40, and I put that into the expected count column. For the average condition, I take 15% times 200, and I get 30, and put that into the expected count column. And then finally, for the poor condition acreage, I take 5% of 200, which is 0 0.05 times 200, or 10, and that completes the expected count column. So now I'm ready to use a calculator to determine the test statistic and the p-value. So here's the calculator. So I need to put in the data. So I go to Stat, and then Enter. Let's clear List 1. So I go up, Clear, and Enter. And let's clear List 2. So I go up and clear and enter. For list one, I'm going to put in the observed counts, which are 100, 45, 35, and 20. For list two, I put in the expected counts, which are 120, 40, 30, and 10. Okay, now that I have the observed and expected stored into list one and list two, now I need to go to the chi-squared goodness of fit test program. Now you may have it in your calculator. If you don't, I recommend um, you go and program it or somehow get it from someone else if you got the cord. One way or another, you need to get the goodness of fit program to be able to do that. This calculator does have it. And I just go to stat, tests. And then it turns out the up arrow is faster. And I want D, which is chi-squared GOF test for the goodness of fit test. And hit Enter. The observed is L1, and the expected is L2. So I'm going to use both of those. 
remember the degrees of freedom is the number of rows minus one. In other words, we had four different categories. I subtract one and get three. So I have three degrees of freedom. I scroll down and hit calculate. And it tells me that the chi-squared statistic is about 14.8 and that the p-value is about 0 0.002. So let's go back to the PowerPoint. Okay, so the calculator gave us that the chi-squared was 14.8 about, and the p-value was about 0 0.002. So let's use a level of significance of 0 0.05. Almost anything will work since this is such a small p-value. So we can see that the p-value is equal to or about equal to 0 0.002, and that's less than the level of significance or any almost any level of significance. 0 0.05 is a standard. So when the p-value is less than the level of significance, that means I get to reject the null hypothesis and accept the alternative hypothesis. And I can conclude that there is statistically significant evidence to conclude that the land distribution is not the same as it was in 1970. And I'm done with the problem.